Welcome back everybody, it's Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. Today coming at you with another do-it-yourself video. But this time, I know a lot of you guys with the E60 M5 have started to wonder, do you do any of your own maintenance on this car? The fact of the matter is, yes I do. And that is really the only way to save yourself some money on ownership of these cars. We know that there's a lot of things that can go wrong in these cars. And there are some tasks that I'm not going to try to tackle myself. But I'm always a believer in, if it's relatively simple, if there's a lot of money on the table, why not take that money? Why not learn something about your car? Why not save some cash, do it yourself? That way when you're in there, you also know what the condition of the other parts are in the car. You, you, you learn how to do things, you learn what's going on inside the car, you become a little bit more connected with your car as well. And those that do their own maintenance typically take more care with their car. They take the time to do some of the things. They don't break the connectors, hopefully. They, they make sure that everything's buttoned up properly, everything's clean and tidy. That's the best way to do it. While you're in there, clean up a little bit. So we're gonna get right to it, everybody. Now this is a relatively simple task for almost any do-it-yourselfer. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot of tools needed. Today we're gonna be doing the do-it-yourself on the cabin air filter and we're going to do a full reset so we're not just going to be doing the cabin air filter change where I'm going to show you how to do an actual proper service reset if you get a service light associated with the cabin air filter I'll walk you through the steps from beginning to end and I'm going to start with this filters so obviously you need new filters now these aren't really high-end filters I'll be honest uh, these are quite quite low-cost jobber filters but that being said if you use a cheaper filter just change it more often the other factor of the matter is I don't drive my car in really dusty conditions it typically gets driven only in nice sunny days so I'm not too worried about putting in the the hundred fifty dollar cabin air filters I am using a simple relatively low-cost cabin air filter that is compatible for the E60 which happens to be my E60 M5 but it is compatible with most E60 models. Five series cars, of course. What you're also going to need is, what I have here is a ratchet extension. You don't necessarily need this. What you do need is some sort of uh, an eight millimeter hex head. There are other ways to open it. It's a really, basically a really soft plastic, so it's really not that hard to turn it. All you have to do is turn it it's like a quarter turn and I'll show you that in a second but I'm using an 8 millimeter Allen head with extension and 3 8 ratchet so this is the tool and I'm also using just a generic set of pliers you could probably use a small screwdriver anything like that and you'll see shortly here why that is the other thing I might add is while you're in there and you're disassembling everything always either give it a good vacuum if you have a lot of leaves in there you want to make sure you give it a good vacuum and I'm going to use some heavy duty shop wipes. I'm going to use this. You can use anything, a moist rag. I would suggest if doing anything, a mix of water and uh, some sort of a rubbing alcohol, a mix 50-50 or like I said, I use something like this. Don't want to get too abrasive a chemical in there. You just want to give it a light clean. We're not here worrying too much. Ultimately, the filter itself is picking up the majority of this junk. And like I said, you shouldn't have too much dust in there, but I just want to give it a little extra white. So let's get started, everybody. I'm going to show you step by step. Here we go. Down in here, there's a few things that you have to undo. Now there's two filters, one on the passenger and the identical one on the driver's side over there. I'm only going to show you the one side. I will do both sides myself. I'll do the one and then I'm going to do the change for you. Now there's a few things we have to undo. There's a, that Allen key I explained, the eight millimeter Allen key down in this corner. Right in here, Allen key. You have to undo these electrical connectors for the switch, as well as the airflow sensing. You have to undo these connectors, and then there's a rod here that you have to pull. This you pull down. So I'm gonna do that right now. You can use a screwdriver. I'm using my hands. It's a little bit stiff. Uh, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just using this pop that off okay so we pop that bar down 
Then I'm gonna come over here, plug that in, that eight millimeter. About a quarter turn or so, and it'll stop. You don't need to overdo it. That's all there is, you'll see. Now it's loose. Now, we've got two connectors. This one here, you lift this little tab. You can lift it with your fingernail, really. That's what I did. Fingernail, and then pull that off. Okay, see, simple as that. There's a little tab. If you can get your nail under there. Same thing over here. I just gave this a bit of a pull, and there we go. So now we've pulled these two connectors off. And that's the switch, the hood switch, and of course the sensing. So now this just lifts up and you've got your tabs in behind that this of course hooks in. All of these hook in here, slides in and hooks. Now I'm gonna give this a bit of a cleaning. And as you can see, the filter's quite dirty. There's a lot of junk in here, a lot of dust and debris. There's a little bit of, you know, hairs and all kinds of stuff in here. So these filters are pretty much ready for a change. So I'm gonna take that out and give it a wipe. So you'll notice there's something very peculiar here. There's something that you need to take note of. There's a little tab here. You see, there's a little tab and that's gonna orientate your, your filter in a correct direction. So what that is, you'll notice the filter has that little cutout on it. There's a cutout there. That filter has to align that way. That's the way it's supposed to go in. It's snug, it's got a little lip on here to make sure that it's snug in the housing. Make sure it slides all the way in. Slide that in. Make sure that's pushed all the way down. There. You want to make sure that gets pushed all the way out so that it's going to make a good seal around the housing. Got that. I got that. Everything's in place now. And that lip is covered. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the, the new filters in place. We've got that tab in that indent. And this is the last part you want to put in. You want to make sure it gets pried underneath. And that there's a lip that surrounds the entire... So let's put this in. Put this in here. So you want to make sure all those little tabs are aligned. Okay, so we slid it in the tabs. We bring that down nice and tight. I'm going to press this bar back on. That's the retaining bar. That side's clipped. And I'm going to tighten that. Grab my socket. Turn that a quarter turn. Now that's tight as you can see. And we're gonna plug in the electrical connectors here. First this one for the switch. That's the hood switch. And then the other one is for the air filtration. The pressure check switch, there we go. that down in there and everything's back so what I'm gonna do now everybody I'm gonna do the other side really quickly I'm not gonna necessarily walk you through that I showed you step by step on this what I'm going to do now I'm gonna do that and then right now we're gonna go in there I'm gonna show you that actually how to do the reset on your your codes on the on the dashboard basically so we're gonna walk through that Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna review real quickly, guys, how to do the actual reset. So you can use the key either plug it into the ignition. I don't need to, because I've got the soft touch control here. Do not put your foot on the brake, but press this once, press it again. Now the car is on, obviously. The car is basically ready to go. Now, so firstly, what we're going to do is you press the odometer button and you hold it. Now you get this. And you can toggle through all these devices. And you'll notice the engine oil is good. 
you're able to go through each one of these components. There's the microfilter. There's the brake fluid. And the rest of them are orange, so you can see they're good to go. There's not a problem. So you keep toggling through, keep pushing that button till you find the right element. Let's get to the right one. And now you push and hold. It says reset, let go. And then press it again. Oh, it took a little long. Okay, here we go. Reset, let go, press it again, hold. Clear, you see? So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a little tidbit on how to do it yourself on the installation of the cabin air filters or IE the micro filters as well as how to actually do a reset on your online onboard computer to make sure that you can get rid of that code completely. Why go to the dealer and waste all kinds of hard earned money if you can do it right at home? So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed it. Mark again here, we're checking out with Exotic Car Play Place. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share a comment, like, and we'll talk to you real soon on the next one. Thanks again, everybody. See you then. Bye-bye.